stories of the children in undeveloped countries. But now, we need to look at a more universal problem that's plaguing families around the country. We need your help to end student problems. Over half of the university students go weeks without a drop of alcohol. Hello, my name is Danny, and all I've eaten for the past three months is McDonald's. I've had so much chicken mayo, it's absolutely horrendous. I'm just so, so hungry, but I don't have any money to buy anything. It's really affecting my study. I just don't know if I can live like this. Living in overpriced student accommodation that have problems left and right, that their landlords are not fixing. They need our help to survive these problems. There are students living in the library due to it being open 24 hours a day, giving them shelter from the elements on a cheaper budget. These students are the people of tomorrow and without help they will not be able to focus on their schoolwork and learn to help better the country. I used to be able to get my regular 13 hours of sleep every night, but this term my timetable changed and three of my lectures got moved to 9 a.m. This is really rough. When you're, wake, when you're up till 5 a.m. watching Netflix and then three hours later you have to get up for your lecture. It's hard and tiresome. I don't know how much longer I can be, I'll be able to keep up with doing this. Hard life. Just last week when I was out in the club with some friends. Someone came up to me and asked me the worst possible thing you could ask. They said, hey man, did you submit your essay today? And I hadn't. <laughs> when I found accommodation for my second year, I thought I found the perfect house. Until the mall started here. At first it wasn't that bad, just a few spots. But then it grew. I felt like it was overnight when it took over my room. I woke up covered in the stuff. I looked like Kermit. I tried contacting the landlord, but they just did absolutely nothing. Now I have to live in this mold infested room for the rest of my life. <laughs> To donate, just call 67128578378374 or head to the website located at the bottom of the screen now for more information. All it takes to help these unfortunate students is just 50p per month. With your help, we can save these students from dryouts and suffering from poor student housing. Student Line now have a 27 hour advice hotline. I rang them up and they gave me the great advice on how to remove the mold. Turns out you can just wipe it away with a sponge. I mean, who knew? Since Student Line came along, my life has changed drastically. They downloaded this app on my phone that gives me a list every time I have a deadline that night. Now I'll always remember to submit, or at least I can email my tutor begging them to give me an extension. Student Line worked with my uni to get all my 9 a.m lectures moved to the afternoon. Now I can go to sleep at 4 a.m. every night after my 10 hours of Netflix and still get my 8 hours of sleep and have enough energy for my lectures. Well, when I at least go to them.